Welcome to skill exam. This uh, video will show how the candidate uh, side of the skill exam works. So let's say um, you have a candidate who you would like to assess uh, and uh, you have created let's say the test as an employer and you want to send the test to the candidate as um, uh, we have been always mentioning that it is the best way to do it is um, you know have the candidate come in on a screen share session like zoom or webex and at that point of time on a real time basis you uh, send the uh, test that you have created to the candidate and have the candidate take the test um, also uh, we recommend recording the screen so that way you can um, you know i mean let's say if you if if you even if you take a break from what candidate is doing you can you know that screen is recording um, you know until the test is done so so that way uh, things are much more authenticated uh, however we have put all the features where copy paste is disabled and all those things but screen share recording uh, with the skill exam is the most uh, uh, foolproof method to accurately assess the candidate uh, um, you know the candidate's ability so let's quickly take a look uh, the, you know i'm going to log in as a um, as as a, as as one of the employer account and i uh, you know i have already created the test and i showed earlier in the you know uh, in the other demo how to create the test so i'm not going to go and create another test this time but i will look at one of the tests that is already active uh, if you are an enterprise customer and you have prepaid and purchased uh, the exams then you can go ahead and create the exam until you exhaust um, and but if you are an on-demand kind of uh, uh, buyer uh, then every time you create the exam you have to pay for the for the exam but pricing is already mentioned so we have got a pretty transparent and pretty simple pricing uh, whether you want to purchase in a bulk fashion or you purchase like you know one off um, so that's uh, pretty much so let's go ahead and send the exam to one uh, to an to a candidate and I will like you know just just put the candidates email here and just sent it and that's pretty much it um, as I had mentioned I rec we recommend that uh, you create a zoom session or webex session or something screen share session let the session be ready and then you send the test so that uh, you know so that you can see what candidate is doing so here um, you know I will log out uh, and I will now act as a candidate and I'll go to the candidate email all right yeah so there is that email has come here right okay and it says request to perform skill exam all right so it says that you have received blah 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 okay so this is the email that comes to the candidate okay and uh, uh, you know so there is a specific steps that are there there is a step one and step two and it has to be clearly um, you know it has to be carefully executed and this is the username and the password for the candidate for this particular specific exam so it says please follow the below instructions carefully step one click to prepare your browser environment for skill exam so you click that so in case if you have logged in or whatever i mean you know you will log out and then you click second um, link to perform the skill exam okay so that's the second link and then we are going to use um, this username and the password and click on authentication okay all right so um, all right so here is the exam and one has to just execute this exam so this is an exam with splunk and python and sql so candidate will have to click on execute and these are the different uh, question so the first question is what is the difference between blah 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 list and tuple you know let's say the candidate doesn't answer this you know the second question and why can't 
lambda forms in python contain statement um, you know whatever candidate answers and like you know so so on and so forth and let's say if you are doing a screen session you can actually tell the candidate to execute let's say question number 13 you know and or selective question or whatever so what is i negative index so uh, so so like that you can have an iterative or let the candidate take the test make sure that um, you know screen is shared and so on and so forth once everything is done you know all candidate has to do is terminate the exam or otherwise you know it will get terminated automatically and that's about it that is all the candidate is actually doing for the uh, for taking the test and once the test is done um, you know uh, you can you will get of course an email that uh, the test is done and also and also the splunk pythons um, it will will the status will say completed it was active earlier and you can view the result Okay, so here all the our compiled answer will always be there whether candidate has answered it or not you can always generate a PDF as well so this is how um, the system works thank you